So we're here at the University of Tennessee. Tonight here at the Student Union, we're going to have a Guys Not Dead event, basically uh, explaining a case for why Christ exists. Join me in giving a warm Tennessee welcome to Drs. Rice Brooks and Erica Dean. Uh, tonight, what we're going to do is we're going to take you on a journey. The heart of what we're going to do is to talk about the four areas of evidence for God that if we were in a completely secular context to walk you through if you were at ground zero, if you know nothing. Science has shown that the universe had a beginning. And so the question is, did it come from nothing? Can nothing give rise to something as like the whole universe? And if not, then what is the something that precedes the universe? There is no evidence for God, so how I'll, I'll stop and I say, well, wait a minute, well, what evidence would you accept? If you, if you say there is no evidence, tell me what you think evidence looks like. So what we're looking for tonight is we're looking for the evidence of an intelligent mind behind the universe. I wrote a paper back in high school for an argument and it was called The God Formula. That stuff has always interested me. Obviously I have my own personal way of you know, thinking about God, but uh, like how do you, without the Bible, explain to someone else, you know, God is real. If you believe in God or you don't, you have to start with a brute fact. This question, why is there something rather than nothing, is the most enduring question of philosophy. When they see us in this public moment talking about God's existence, talking about the truth of the Christian faith, and then having the response, the Q&A, the, the skeptics, the professors, and when they see that kind of ability to confidently, graciously, hopefully, defend the faith, then many of them come to us and say, that's what we want to do. Christianity started in the very place where it would have been easiest to disprove, in Jerusalem, three days after. Does this truth demand a response? And it does. Every nation in our generation, every campus.